Hey guys, Austin here with Volt Life Proof Grooming. Now among the bearded community, there's a phenomenon that goes on that maybe you have noticed, maybe you haven't noticed, but it's still very prevalent and we get asked this question a lot. And that is, why is my beard more red or have more red hair in it than maybe my hair does? Believe it or not, this is a fairly normal occurrence. In fact, my beard does exactly the same thing. If we got up close and personal, maybe I'll even show you in just a second, you can tell that my beard is noticeably more red and has more red color in it than my hair does. My hair is almost straight brown. So why does this occur? And is it anything you have to be worried about? Well, luckily the answer is no. You really don't have to be worried about it. It's not a symptom of any underlying condition or any issue you have with your beard. In fact, it's all genetic. Now, traditionally, we have to talk about redheads. What we know is that they're very rare. About one to two percent of the population will have a natural red hair color. And most of them live in Celtic countries, countries like Scotland and Ireland and Wales and then England. Now, predictably, having a red hair color actually exists as a mutation of a certain gene. That gene is known as MC1R, and it controls pigment production in hair cells, as well as a few other things like fair skin, poor tanning ability, and even pain perception. Overall, hair color is determined by the ratio of two pigments, eumelanin, which is responsible for black tones, and pheomelanin, which causes red ones. So people with black or dark brown hair will probably only have eumelanin, or at least it will be the dominant pigment. Blonde people, for example, have less of both types of pigment, and people with red hair obviously have more pheomelanin. Now, one function of the MC1R gene is to code for a protein called melanocortin, and the job of melanocortin important is to convert the red pigment to the black pigment. But obviously if someone has a mutation in this gene, then the resulting proteins aren't as effective and you will get red hair. So what happens to a person who has darker hair but a more red beard? And this is usually always due to a differential expression in the MC1R gene for the follicles that control your beard against the follicles that actually control your hair. And that just results in a different kind of production or blend of those pigments. In other words, the same exact gene that controls the color of your hair and your beard are behaving differently based on the part of your body. Now, interestingly enough, this can actually be observed in men as they age. And this is because the pigment producing cells in your scalp and your beard will age at different rates. So in other words, there's nothing wrong with this situation. It's merely a difference between the pigment producing cells in your beard and your hair that are doing different things. It's nothing to be worried about. In fact, it can give you a really unique look. So if this has happened to you, celebrate your individuality. Chances are you have ancestry in Scotland or Ireland or Wales or any kind of those Celtic countries. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I was able to explain a little bit more about why this happens and why you may experience this or why you have seen people like this and how you know a little bit more about your own hair too and what's going on with your own pigments, whether they're red or not. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. If you guys want to join the channel, we've got cool videos coming out all the time. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified every time we post another video. We're posting like three a week and some blogs too if you like to read those. And let us know if you have any other questions that you would like us to answer in the comment section. We'd love to answer for you. So thank you guys again. I'll see you in the next video.